practically tastes the filth of its people in the air. Decadent swine. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> There you are. Any news for me? Not really. I just wanted to make sure you weren't slacking off. Of course not. This is where our glorious lord will be reborn. You must cleanse every inch of it. So what's your plan, Miss Black Dragon Princess? <laughs> It's simple. I shall deliver my own laws to the peers. Aha! I will tolerate no defiance. They will fear us and have no choice but to submit. All right. God can creating a new world order be, honestly. <laughs> So does that make you judge death? If Karen is Judge Dread? Alright. Actually, what I probably want to do is the condition. So, both Subaru and Karen, and Karen are still fairly motivated. Gemini not motivated. Sounds like fairly motivated is the peak position. Um, So this save was pre-combat, which leads me to suspect that the save icon is whoever your close your um what varies based on whether it's combat or walking around scenario. We'll see. So best option on what here is to predict since I need to build points back up with Gemini. Aha! Uh, no, the, if by lightning you mean construction equipment, then yes. Those are interestingly leading questions there, Mr. Sunnyside. Simple, like a simple meeting, no implications going on. 
I, I do definitely suspect that Mr. Sunnyside has a hunch what's up, but he's trying to give Karen a chance to come out with her with her knowledge of what's going on before he actually takes action. And you know, so you're like, um, this is the most. This is really, really awkward. What is it? I'm kinda in a hurry. I don't know anyone in explanation, especially not you. What right do you have? Oh, one of the truth. Okay. I'm not going to pull rank. Okay. I feel like like the middle one felt the one like like the, the like the reason I kind of put this. I'm commanding officer. I need to know this information. Um. But also wanting to know the truth is like is also factual, and gets me actual relationship bonus here. So. That is true. You also need guts. Hard work and guts. If I've learned anything from Gunbuster, you need hard work and guts. In this country, justice is defined by the laws governing. Aha, uh -huh, so this but laws can be changed. As evidenced by the fact that uh, that certainly um even 30 years or 20 yes, even 30 years prior to when this game is set he wouldn't Heron is not someone who would be able to practice law in any sense um both as a person of color and as a woman like even then I don't know okay actually, I actually need to find this out this is actually make I, I'm now wondering to the Googles Okay, so we had a woman, uh, first woman of color to be admitted to the, well, first woman to be admitted to the bar in the United States. I woman of color, but first woman in, in the U.S. to be admitted to the bar was in 1869. So we would have had women attorneys at this time. First black attorney. All right, 1816. First black woman attorney. Okay, so okay, so we had black women attorneys at this time. Uh, Charlotte E. Ray was an attorney. Um, was admitted to the bar in um, uh, or admitted to uh, District of Columbia um, Art School of Law in eighteen seventy two. And was admitted to the, to the DC bar that year as well. And uh, yep. Okay, so um, black woman practicing law would not have been unheard of in at the time that the game came out. Oh, the game is set. Okay, wanted to check that.
That said, it is important to mention, of course, that there are specializations in law, uh, much as there are specializations in medicine. Um, you do not go to a gastroenterologist um, to have um, to to, to um, have your uh, hearing issues examined. And though certainly there are probably the legal equivalent of general practitioners as well. Okay. All right. So, continuing on. And let me thrust our episode of finding out what is going on with Karen. again. Also, you might have some useful guidance. You look freaked out in response to that. I don't think I learned much, but oh well. Unless those kind of the pauses were meant to be an implied longer conversation. Okay, dialogue choice. That's bad phrasing. Also, I live in this neighborhood. This this is not this is no this no 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 shin. That's where she works. The lawyer. Not in her office, she's in the courthouse. Yep. Yep, the confirmation that Karen has deci Karen is siding with the forces of gentrification. 
Um, man, th th this whole thing is kind of cringy. I do appreciate the fact that the outsider Japanese guy is the one who's like, wait a minute, gentrification is wrong. <laughs> okay. So basically, okay. Now, one thousand dollars is admittedly in nineteen thirties bucks, a lot of money. That said, the Tennessee Frontier is okay with demolishing buildings with people still inside them. There is no reason to believe they won't try to weasel out of it. I like, again, legitimately, like, as mentioned, a thousand dollars, 1930s money, is a lot of cash. That is, like... Okay, inflation calculator, go! Asian Canada, but let's see from what we are at 1930. Doing one thousand dollars, one grand. One thousand dollars would be in nineteen twenty eighteen money, about fifteen thousand bucks. Okay. So it's it's not as much as I was expecting. Um, if you're ha if you're losing your business, uh, for example, um, if you it would not necessarily be enough to set up the new business elsewhere. Um, so uh, that is depth. So okay for. For your jazz club, for example, that would not necessarily be enough to consider neighborhood. Um, it's also interesting, like kind of talking about this from a Oregon perspective, because we Oregon, this kind of happened twice. Uh, we had Vanport, which was it wasn't exclusively an African American neighborhood, but it was a heavily African American neighborhood on the. Um, near the river where Portland International Raceway is. Uh, if you were in several other areas. And Vanport was basically hit bad in flooding. Um, that wiped out... That I don't know if there was necessarily a death toll, but it caused massive property damage. And rather than rebuild or put up levees in that area... They, they did put... There were, there were levees in that area already. And... Rather than further reinforcing the levees, and though they did do that, they decided instead to basically move everybody out of Fanport. And so, in response to that, a lot of the African American population who was displaced from who were displaced from Fanport, then moved to the Albina neighborhood or Albina uh, neighborhood of Portland, as um, and that became the heavily African American, heavy African American community in the Portland metro area. Then, with the expansion of the freeway and I-5, um, and redevelopment of, and re gentrification of that neighborhood, they got pushed out. Then, the African American population of Albina got pushed out of Portland again, um, or that area of Portland again, and out to Gresham, I believe, has uh, among other parts of the Portland metro area, um, but. Yeah, Albina was, to an extent, Portland's Harlem. Um, so, th this is... 
a this is this is a situation that is not unheard of in history though i don't think the population of albina of albina got compensation in this manner Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Yep, that is true. I will. Yep. This is the plot of Daredevil Season 1, except instead of Hell's Kitchen, it's Harlem. Man, where's... So does that mean that this is like mashing up Luke Cage too, in there too? I still need to watch Season 1 of Luke Cage. I got her on that. All right, yep, I'm taking you on. Uh-huh. So I do need to make sure to properly save my game before the trial. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.